to begin with, they're very rare, so you're really lucky to have seen them. They're rolls of snow that look like a roll of quilt batting or snowballs, and they require particularly precise conditions for formation. The temperature has to be just a little bit above zero so that there's a little bit of, of surface liquid associated with snow, and it has to be the right type of snow, a little bit wet, but not too wet, so that it sticks together, but it's not too dense. And the snowflakes themselves have to have fallen through air that was a little bit above freezing, so they get some surface moisture associated with them. And the layer has to be thin on fresh snow, and it shouldn't stick too well with what is underneath it. So what's underneath it should be icy or, or pretty well fro solid frozen. And you have to have some wind, and the wind starts to push up the surface layer and push them along. But it has to be not too strong a wind because they'll blow apart, and not too weak because then they won't continue to roll, and there can't be any obstructions on the, on the land either. So that's why I say the phenomena that you saw, the snow rollers, it's very rare because you need exactly the right type of snow, the right type of geography, the right type of wind, and the right type of temperature.